I'm trying to be consistent here. Oh my god, I like this video. I'm blushing, but I'm black. Please, how about we learn to mind our business? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, it's gonna be a q and a It's been a very long time coming. I've been stalling this q and a for because I am actually nervous. Sometimes there are certain things that I want to keep private, but I've had this channel for a while now and then it's not fair for you guys if you don't know certain things. So today, we are finally gonna do a QA and a section. While we do that, you guys will be getting ready with me to go absolutely nowhere. <laughs> but I just wanted to look cute. And my hair is very long overdue. Just ignore that. It's been just two weeks since I breathed it, but it's doing madness. So for my prime, I'll be using the Baby Skin Instant Pore eraser the first question is what inspired you to start your youtube channel i was just experimenting my creative side it didn't feel like a chore i like talking when i'm comfortable <laughs> i enjoy doing that so i felt like why not just create a youtube channel and just have fun with my creative side and i really enjoyed it so that was what inspired me creating youtube i hope i answered the question right Next question is how did you come up with your youtube name this is the fenty beauties foundation the shade 440 yeah, so why did I choose my YouTube channel? I wanted to come up with a different name, but I could not think about anything and nothing was aligning with me. And I was like, why not use my name? Because I really like my name. Briefer Caroline, why am I stressing over finding a YouTube channel? But my name is like amazing. But at the same time, I wanted to find a new name because I didn't want my family to know that I had a YouTube channel. But after thinking about it so many times, I actually do not care if they find out that I have a channel or not. Yeah, that's how I came about with my name. I'm glad I chose that to be my channel name because it's a brand now. In the future, when I become very famous and popular, it's going to be my brand. Like the Kim Kardashians. Okay, so the third question is, tell us about your background and interests outside of YouTube. Outside of YouTube, I love to take care of people. I love working in the health sector. It's fulfilling, even though like it can be annoying sometimes. I only like to be on my own in my own space, but then when I'm around the people that I'm comfortable with, I am not quiet. But that's actually bad. I don't have any interest. I just like to create. That's the only interest that I have. Is it bad? So what's your favorite video you've ever created and why? I was going to Ghana and when I flew first class. Yeah, I wasn't able to capture the whole experience because my enemy's face was full and all of that shebang. But my experience, amazing. And the fact that I was able to create that and look back at it, I'm like, I've flown first class, hello. I know maybe some people it's nothing new to them, but make maybe I'll be free back. Ah, it's me fly first class. Ah. Hey, I do. Um, the next question is share some of your YouTube goals and aspirations. I'm trying to make YouTube a career. Doing this thing like full time. In the near future I can see myself just doing YouTube because it's YouTube is something that I really really like doing. So if I make this thing my career, it will be amazing to do. And it's definitely doable because a lot of people do YouTube full time. At first, I was doing it for fun. For now, people are invested and I can't only be doing it for fun. Now, my community is amazing. I like the way you guys keep me in check when I don't post videos. I'm trying to be consistent to y'all more money out of it like collab go places but at the same time i'm shy Bruh. so how are we going to do this one step at a time there's no need to rush now I'll move on to my concealer that's the bye bye under eye full coverage i don't even know if this concealer works to be fair but this is what i use for my concealer the bye bye under eye full coverage concealer the shade 40.5 c deep for my under eyes the next question is how do you handle negative comments or criticism i don't i delete it it's not me that i come to stress me my own phone that i bought with my money maybe i'm not like that big so i'm not seeing it that much but sometimes people comment certain things and even in real life people say certain things and i'm like so what do you want me to say they nearly want to know what you want me to say I just block and delete recently like i've gained weight and i posted a video on my instagram and my stomach looked big the video i know so because my stomach is looking big i shouldn't post the video please please let's respect ourselves over here i will post it eh? i took the video myself edited the video i added music i pressed upload i captioned there i think i didn't see that my stomach was big in the video please 
how about we learn to mind our business i was getting comments at congratulations who are assuming that i'm pregnant until i tell you guys that i'm pregnant i should not speculate that i'm pregnant what if i was dealing with body dysmorphia what if i'm struggling to lose weight and then it's making me stress and i'll block you while the concealer is drying the next question is discuss your equipment and the process of making videos i'm currently filming on the zve 10 and the lights that i use is just these two lights the process of making videos most of the time i get ideas and then i write it down and i record and the next question is what's the most challenging aspect of being a youtuber the most challenging aspect of being a youtuber is trying to stay consistent to so have other commitments that's work and it's hard to stay consistent and then life happens that's one of the challenging things i find about being a youtuber i don't mind editing i'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow powder palette this triangular powder puff sets my under eye before it creases i'm gonna use this part of it so the question is do you have any advice for anyone starting a youtube channel just start don't overthink it be yourself and then you find your audience trust me if you are starting don't be too hard on yourself with the equipment because you see everybody buying cameras and all of that start with your iphone started with my iphone sometimes i even record on my iphone it will excel i trust you you're doing amazing sweetie don't let anybody tell you otherwise i look like a ghost right now so i'm just gonna spray my face to melt everything down i'm going on with the morphing continuous prep and set mess the next question is share a funny or memorable behind the scenes moment from film oh yeah i remember i hope my dad has not watched this video while i talk about it i'm gonna use the foundation from sleek it's a very dark foundation so i use it to contour a funny thing that happened was i used to be at my dad's house when i started youtube and i used to film when nobody was around because i didn't want anybody to know that i had a youtube channel i didn't want to hear oh my god you're wasting your time and, um. so when my dad is not at home when i was at my dad's place i used to sleep at the hall the hall was converted into a bedroom for me but my dad used to mount his camera to keep an eye on his car because we lived in a flat and then people used to break glasses of people's cars and my dad was monitoring his car and then my window was where I could mount his camera so sometimes i would be making up to film a video then i'll just hear my dad is coming so i have to rush and just put all the lightning away i just open the door with my face fully glammed and i have to change quickly and then wear something homey and then my dad would be like hey making comments like hey i don't hear i'm like oh nah i'm just experimenting with makeup but that was so funny to do the speed that i used to Kukusaka myself. <laughs> I rained myself before my dad sees. But he doesn't have a problem with me filming you. So I don't know why I didn't want to tell him. Those moments were very funny. Thank God that now I have my own space and I can film whenever that I want to film. Oh my God, I like this video. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. Discuss the impact YouTube has had on your life. People just come into my DM. They tell me that I inspire them a lot. The fact that I'm able to encourage people and inspire people in my small way about information that I feel like I'm just having fun with. And I like it when you guys come to me and ask me questions. Ah, shy. You guys really trust me to ask me questions like this? Okay. Okay. I'm blushing, but I'm black. So the next one is uh, your favorite video editing tips or software it's okay first of all i use CapCut to edit i used to use vllo but then CapCut has so many features and then it's free and i feel like nobody uses CapCut now my favorite video editing tip cut out the rubbish those long pause and those unnecessary things it makes it boring for people to watch shut it down go on and edit the video properly all right all right if that mistake does not add anything to the video please it makes the video boring cut it out i watch vlogs and then one scene is so long for no reason you really have to put that in there unless like my favorite youtuber and i don't care whatever you post or unless it adds to the vlog that's unnecessary parts out we are tired <laughs> So the next question is talk about your collaborations or collabs you've done with other creators i have not done any collaborations yet because i'm shy when i came to ghana i was about to collaborate with alaji tuzi and this guy ghosted me not on purpose but then by the time that he reached out to me 
I was out of the country. I felt like that collaboration would have been so fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to collaborations in the future. But then, who is going to collaborate with me? But I am open to collaboration. If your content aligns with what I do, why not? How do you balance YouTube with other commitments in your life like marriage, work? I don't. I go with the flow. I just incorporate it. It's all about prioritizing what you have to do. My marriage, for instance, I'm married. What can I do? I have to be married. I'm going over with the powder, like highlight those areas that I put the concealer after I contour my face. I'm just gonna spray my face again. So the, the next question is discuss your plans for the future of your channel. Plans for the future of my channel. Before that, I'm going to use blush on my face. I go on with this pink and brown. I interchange it like that. And then yeah so the plans for my channel to stay consistent post more videos and be happy for it to reflect in my channel i want to be more vulnerable on the channel for my channel to grow and yeah that's my plan for the channel nothing serious but authentic and beautiful thank you very much next question what's your creative process like when coming up with video ideas so my creative process is first i come up with a video ideas i basically watch my favorite youtubers i pick what resonates with me and what i can film on my channel write down the ideas sometimes i google ideas search on tiktok and then i make it my own i find time i go through my list i film it then onto my lips i use the same eye pencil that i used line my lips and i'm not wearing any lashes because i already did strip lashes on myself so yeah, let me change. The next question is some random facts about me. Random fact about me is I'm the second child of about four kids on my mom's side and five kids on my dad's side. I have other siblings. I have a sister and I have brothers. A random fact about me is I want to be around people brushing their teeth. I cannot stand the smell of people brushing their teeth. And another random fact about me is growing up our routine was wake up, brush your teeth, go and take your bath before you eat anything. Breakfast, supper, you have to bath before you eat. So I got used to it, like a routine now. My husband is not like that. First I was very adamant on if you're not taking your bath, you never eat. But now I'm a bit flexible with that. Another random thing about me is I grew up to be very troublesome. So the kids in my neighborhood, it was a compound house. You come at me, I'll give you like 10 times of what you give me. And then they end up crying. Go and complain to their mothers. And then they are always like, gonna caro, caro, caro that. So when I was a kid, my mom used to take me to school at 6 o'clock. And then pick me up at 6 o'clock. So I was going to school from 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock. So my routine was, I wake up. I get to school by 6 o'clock. And by 6 o'clock in the evening, that's when my mom picks me up. So when she picks me up, I just come home, do my homework and go to sleep. And the cycle continued. I feel like that has caused so much adulthood trauma mom if you are watching this there was no reason for you to do that but yeah that's some of the random facts about me what is in my eye yeah so this brings to the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy watching today's video please don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first person to get notified my instagram is down below and i'll see you in my next video bye guys